Welcome to this session everyone. My name is Yogesh. In this session, we are going to talk about elastic IP address in Amazon EC2. An elastic IP address is a static IPv4 address associated with an AWS account. It can be attached to an EC2 instance. When to use elastic IP address? We all know Amazon uh, Cloud provide ability to stop, start or terminate the EC2 instance at any time. The public IP associated with the instance also get released when you terminate the instance. Or uh, when you do stop start of the instance, there is no guarantee that uh, you will get same IP address once instance is up. This make uh, outage like situation. As the original public IP address, which may be associated uh, with your website, or the DNS which website is using, that is gone. In such cases, elastic IP address is a solution. Elastic IP address make life easy at it is reserved public IP address, which is dedicated for your Amazon account. And you can use it for your web services. I have listed a couple of features of elastic IP address. An elastic IP address can only be associated with one EC2 instance at a given time. An elastic IP address belongs to AWS account. It's not dedicated to instance. So it can be attached to any instance. Uh, what it means, uh, let's say you've created an instance today where you're running your website. So you have terminated that instance. You can use the elastic IP which was associated to the terminated instance to a new instance. It means uh, your website uh, IP will remain same or whatever the associated DNS entry that will remain same. No need to change that. So at any time you can detach or uh, the technical term in Amazon that's called uh, you can disassociate the elastic IP from a EC2 instance and associate it with a different EC2 instance. So that's possible. That's the beauty of Elastic IP. And Elastic IP address is static. So basically they never get changed or it will not automatically get released unless you release it manually. So that's static IP address which belongs to your Amazon account. Next important thing, an Elastic IP address is region specific. What it means uh, Elastic IP address of Sydney region, for example, you can't use it in Mumbai region because that's a region specific IP. An elastic IP address can be associated or disassociated to an instance irrespective of its state. It means uh, if your instance is stopped, then also you can attach a IP. If your instance is running, you can uh, associate the IP. Similar thing if instance is running or stopped. You can disassociate the IP. On my screen, you can see a couple of commands, uh, which is using Amazon CLI to allocate uh, elastic IP. Then next command is how to associate IP to a running instance, or as I mentioned earlier, irrespective of state. So whether it's stopped or running, you can associate it uh, with an EC2 instance. The next command which tells how you can describe the information about IP means what is the allocation ID, what is the association ID. Allocation ID means uh, when you allocate a IP, it gets a unique allocation ID. When you associate the elastic IP with EC2 instance, at that time it gets association ID. When you want to disassociate uh, elastic IP from EC2 instance, so basically you run this command, disassociate address, association ID, you put association ID, which you can get with describe addresses command. Next thing, to release the elastic IP address, you run AWS EC2 release address, allocation ID, and then allocation ID. Uh, please be aware that uh, elastic IPs are not totally free. For first instance, which is using only single elastic IP, that's free, no charge. But if you attach uh, multiple elastic IP addresses to an EC2 instance, Amazon charge. So you can refer Amazon uh, billing page for more information. Uh, let me quickly give you a quick uh, demo how we can run this AWS CLA command. So we will be having more confidence. Okay, let me open Putty session quickly. 
Okay, so this is my uh, AWS CLI server from where I'm managing my Amazon instances. Here it already got connectivity with Amazon API. So let me run first command. I already got one instance created and it got uh, one public IP which is default public IP at attached. Uh, you can see this is the instance ID. So I'm pressing enter. It is going to give me my public IP. This is the public IP at present. So there is no elastic IP in my account uh, at this time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to allocate a new elastic IP. To allocate a new IP, you have to run AWS EC2 allocate address dash dash domain VPC. So this will allocate a VPC specific uh, elastic IP. You can see this is the new public IP. This is the allocation ID. As I mentioned, we need allocation ID if we want to associate this IP to an instance. So right now this instance for this IP, but we are going to associate this elastic IP, this one, to the instance, this one. So let's do it quickly. So here, AWS EC2 associate address, instance ID, this instance ID, and I'm saying uh, association ID, sorry, allocation ID, because here I'm going to use allocation ID, which is this one. You can see EIP, elastic IP, alloc mean allocation, and this is the unique ID. So let me copy paste this one quickly. So with this one, this elastic IP will be attached to the instance. So it's attached, command return. Let me rerun this command, which was uh, to show the information, describe instances. You can see it got uh, new IP. So when, because uh, at a given time, it can have one public IP. So it automatically associated this particular new public IP, which is my elastic IP. Basically, you can see it was allocated with the allocate address command. So this instance got uh, the public IP. Let me try to ping it. So I will be sure that it's pingable. Yeah, it's pingable. So it means everything good. So guys, in this way, you can attach uh, elastic IP to instance. OK, uh, let me try to ping this particular IP which was the old public IP, it's not pinging. Reason being, because uh, we attached new elastic IP. How you can detach uh, or uh, disassociate this elastic IP to a running instance? Because this instance is running state, you can see because IP was pinging. So let's uh, disassociate the IP address. Before disassociating, I want to show you one command, which is uh, describe addresses. This command tells information about the allocations uh, of the elastic IP. Association ID is this one. Press enter. You can see it is telling domain is VPC. It is attached to this instance at present, which is our EC2 instance, to this particular network interface, which is ENI interface, elastic network interface. This is association ID. This is Owner ID, which is basically my uh, AWS account ID. This is the public IP address. This is the allocation ID and this is the private address. So you can see the information. Now let's uh, disassociate uh, this particular IP quickly. To disassociate the IP address, let me show you. You can run EC2 disassociate address, association ID. Association ID is here, this one press enter so this IP will get disassociated once IP gets disassociated uh, you can run uh, describe addresses command again same you can see uh, it is only showing public IP domain and allocation ID earlier it was showing association ID because it's no more associated that's gone so we and uh, you may be thinking what happened to instance because we have uh, disassociated the elastic IP what will happen to instance what ip it will get it will automatically get a new ip new public ip which it, which will be not a elastic ip that will be normal public ip like uh, non persistent or you can say ephemeral public ip which may get vanished when we terminate the instance or when we do stop start vanish is not right word uh, we can say it will get released because released is the right word so let me show you quickly same command here because earlier we got our elastic IP when we run this command. This time you can see we got a different IP, which is totally different to the first one which we got uh, when we started the session. So you can see automatically Amazon allocated new IP address. So now we have uh, disassociated our IP. 
elastic ip so let's say you want to release because uh, it may be costing you you want to release the elastic ip so here you have to run command awcc to release address dash dash allocation id then the allocation id press enter it will release the elastic ip it's released so you can run describe address again it will complain you like it no more exists you can see the allocation id does not exist because we have released it so guys uh, this was something with the uh, elastic ip addresses and at any time because right now to give you a demo i have released this ip means uh, it's gone instead of releasing you can keep your elastic ip you can associate it with any ec2 instance so in that way it uh, is basically portable public ip i can say it's a portable public ip the default public ip which you get that's not portable that's a temporary whenever you do stop start it may go on or you may get new ip when you terminate your instance the whatever the default public ip that is gone so i'm repeating elastic ips are very useful when you are running your production applications thanks for watching this quick session if you have any query any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you